you this morning? Fantastic. Well, let me introduce myself. My name is Brent, and I'm one of the cruise directors here on board the beautiful Disney Magic. And let me tell you, all of us here on board are very excited to have you on board to see our brand new show. But before we get started, I just want to jump ahead to the end of the show. At the completion of this morning's show, I would kindly ask that everyone remain in the theatre because we are going to be staggering your exit by way of your credentials, the colour and the character name that you do have. So please stay in here. I'll be coming on stage at the end of the show so we can exit in those different groups. But right now it is my privilege to introduce to you your host for today. Please welcome to the stage the President of Disney Cruise Line, Tom McAlpin. Well, thank you, Brett, and good morning, everyone, and welcome aboard the Disney Magic. This is the ship that really started it all for Disney Cruise Line, and it's great to finally see so many of our West Coast friends here on board the ship today. This is a wonderful sight for us at Disney Cruise Line. Now, before we get started, we have some individuals that we would like to recognize. Um, here with us today, we have officials from the Port of Los Angeles, and the Port of LA has been very instrumental in bringing Disney Cruise Line out here to California, so we wanted to recognize them. Um, we are, let's give them a round of applause. We also have some government leaders here today. We have three Los Angeles council members here. Janice Hahn, Wendy Gruel, and Tony Cardenas are here. Give them a round of applause. And from Congress, we have Congresswoman uh, Juanita Millinder McDonald. How about a round of applause for her? Thank you. Also with us today, and I'm sure we'll get a lot of recognition on this one, we have some very special cast members, the Golden Ears here from Disneyland Resort. Let's hear from all of them. I, I, heard that they were, I heard that they were a rambunctious group, and we're really excited to, uh, to be able to be here to help celebrate Disneyland's 50th anniversary. And also, it wouldn't be right to have a great performance like this without children. So we've invited the Boys and Girls Clubs um, from, the, from Los Angeles to come out here and enjoy the show. Let's hear it for them. So we're, we're really glad to have all of you out here. We hope that you enjoy the show. You know, on any ship, entertainment is a big part of the cruise experience. But at Disney Cruise Line, entertainment is really the quintessential hallmark of the entire cruise experience. Currently, we have three Broadway-style shows on board the Disney Magic. The names of those shows are um, Disney Dreams, Golden Mickeys, and of course, Twice Charmed. Now, two of these shows were developed with a great partnership between Disney Cruise Line and Disney's Creative Entertainment Group. And I'm, I'd like to introduce the person who leads that very talented group. Her name is Annie Hamburger. She's the Executive Vice President of Disney's Creative Entertainment. She's with us today. Annie, can you stand up? Let's give her a big round of applause. Thank you, Annie, um, for all you've done for Disney Cruise Line and for another great show. I also want to mention that we have a little bit of a treat here. We have Alan Zachary and Michael, Michael Weiner here who are the composers. There they are. They composed the score and the lyrics for the show here today, and Joe Calarco is the show director, and Joe is here as well. So our new show, Twice Charmed, is really different than any show that we've ever produced before because it's a classic tale told in a whole new way. And we're extremely excited about Twice Charmed here at Disney Cruise Line. It's been see receiving standing ovations ever since we debuted it on the Panama Canal Cruise. So I hope that you all enjoy it as much as our previous guests have. So without giving away anything else, I want you to sit back, relax, and enjoy Twice Charmed, an original twist on the Cinderella story. Thank you all for coming.
when she ran from the ball. She gave no reason why. So I searched all the land, but came up high and dry. Till a dismayed in rags gave the slipper a try. At last my search was through, all because of her shoe. Oh, your majesty, you must be positively delighted. Finally the palace won't seem so empty. One flavor baby won't like me sweet. What could be better than the Peter Pan of Little Feet? That the world's ever known I'm no longer afraid I'll live life all alone Cause with you I am twice Who I was on my own Here's to love that's true All because of a shoe Cinderella stole my prince My one true love Your true love Clearly the prince and I Were meant for each other of a troll like you. Anastasia, Drizella, how many times must I tell you? Above all, self-control. Why, why, why should a girl like Cinderella end up married and content? I cry, cry, cry for my more deserving daughter for whom the finer life was meant. Mother, if only we could do something, we might be happy like we once were. Instead of living happily, I imagine she probably stole them. Or maybe it's those mice she's always singing to. The girl's crazy. I've seen her make little outfits for them. Oh, if only we knew about that stupid second slipper. They do come in pairs after all. There's no use dwelling on the past, girls. It's over. <laughs> <laughs> it isn't over until half the ever after, darlings. And where's your happily ever after? <laughs> Greetings and salutations, ladies! Who are you? Oh, come now, Lady Tremaine. Don't you recognize your own wicked fairy godfather? Wicked fairy godfather? That's right. My cousin. Need a happy ending? Would you like to win the lotto? To change your luck or make a buck? Call. Franco de Fortunato. Oh, Franco, Franco de Fortunato. Just call me Frank. Okay. okay. Why have you come? To grant your heart's darkest desire, of course. That you may prevent Sandy from getting hatched with the handsome prince. <laughs> well, you're too late, Frank. They're already married. Oh, baby dolls, you've got it all wrong. When the chips are down and you get dealt a lousy hand, you don't just throw in the cards. No, no. The pot can still be yours. You just have to learn how to play... dirty. When your life is going wrong, there's just one thing to do. Sing a sweet and happy song, and darlings, when you're through, don't bother with a silly spell like boobity boobity boo. That's for amateurs. 
There's more fun to be had Getting even being bad It's never too late to turn your life around <laughs> And run someone else's life into the ground No need to wish upon a star Cause I've got a magical repertoire There's so much devastation will create As long as you believe inside your heart It's never too late And why would you help me Out of the goodness of your heart, I suppose? No, no, my dear Lady Tremaine Out of the wickedness of my heart yeah. It's never too late to start A life of crime To rewrite the past I'll send you back in time Back in time? You'll break both Cinderella shoes Oh, forgive me, we cannot lose It's losers who resign themselves to fate The winner always knows deep in her heart It's, it's never, never too late. late Check me out, girls <laughs> Now before I cast my spell and time is reversed There is one condition to reveal should Sydney still end up with her prince, you'll all be cursed! For the rest of your lives, the usual price for such a wicked deal. <laughs> and why would you want to curse us? I thought you were my fairy godfather. Wicked fairy godfather. Look, I'm not gonna kid you. You spin the wheel of DeFortunato, you take a chance that you can lose it all. But if you win, you win big! Oh, Mother, there's nothing to worry about! If we destroy those glass slippers, how can we possibly fail? It's not worth gambling our own lives! Now, now, girls, your mother's right. Then again, no risk equals no reward! Come on, boys! <laughs>
yet? No, Your Highness, it is less than half an hour since your last inquiry. Have a little patience! Oh, oh. Any luck yet? Oh, blast! Where is the girl? <laughs> oh, 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 soldier on, footman. Soldier on! Duke, somewhere out there in the kingdom is the love of my life. Every moment that passes is another moment I have to live knowing that my heart oh, is incomplete. Sire, the only thing you know about this maiden is the size of her foot. Don't you think that declaring your love is a trifle hasty? <laughs> Not at all, Duke. After the endless parade of princesses and countesses and duchesses that my father has thrust upon me for once, Oh, I can imagine spending the rest of my life with someone. And not because I'm bound by my duty as the prince, but simply because I love her. <laughs> oh, a beautiful sentiment, sire, but love is not some sort of alchemy that happens in an instant. Oh. No, 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 no. Love comes with time. <laughs> You've seen Mrs. Grand Duke. <laughs> Ooh. Do you really believe I fell in love with her at first sight? <laughs> oh, no. oh, heavens no. But I had a duty to marry whomever my parents chose. And with the passing of every year, my love for her has blossomed like a beautiful... What exactly thing. is your point? <laughs> Any maiden in the kingdom is yours for the taking side. Why not simply choose one and be done with it? <laughs> you just don't get it, Duke. My past is but a distant memory This maiden saw beyond my royalty Oh, she looked into my eyes and fell in love with me for me And suddenly all the world shone bright like the moon and the stars on a clear summer night And I now know love can happen at first sight In a moment, all your life can change in a moment Wonderful yet strange how everything I've heard about is true in a moment, I fell in love with you. Oh, with me, sire? Oh, oh, how very awkward. <laughs> oh, no, Duke, the girl from the ball. Oh, yes, of course. Well, that makes more sense. Uh, Pass on with my friend, and I'd suggest picking up the pace. Not for me, then for my father, who has already planned my engagement party for this evening. Oh, oh tonight? Oh, but sire, what if I don't find the girl oh, in time? Oh, you'll find her all right. Because if you don't, the king will just have to find himself a new grand duke. What? <laughs> just kidding. Or... Am I? Oh, oh dear! Oh, get down, but I've found it all! Footman! Where is the girl? Footman! Oh. to visit me at the palace. Isn't it wonderful? Just yesterday my life was such a chore. Wash dishes, do the laundry, scrub the floor. Well, today I'm not your servant girl or dish maid anymore. Soon the word will travel across the town that I was the girl in the beautiful gown and I'll trade my room for a prince and royal crown. In a moment, can I fall romance? My hopeless day will fade into, into the past. past. When in a moment my life begins at last. Hand over the slipper, Cinderella. I don't think I understand. Silence! Do you think me a fool? Girls. Yes, mother. Cinderella has something that she would like to give to you. No. What? You have been nothing but cruel to me, stepmother. But now your worst nightmare has come true. With this slipper, I am going to find happiness with the handsome prince. And you can't stop me. May we, mother? Oh, yes. <laughs> This 
is it, footman, the very last domicile in the kingdom? The girl who fits the glass slipper must reside in this very dwelling. Footman? My dear Cinderella, there will be no escape for you this time. Franco! What can I do for you, dollface? My stepdaughter believes herself a princess in the making. Big surprise. And while I'm certain we'll succeed with all the slipper breaking, there's still a chance she might be recognized from last night's ball. You're so wicked! And you are a shameless flatter! I know! In a moment, when I cast my spell, in a moment, we will say farewell! One look at her, and then I understood! Don't take my dreams away! In a moment, my love can spark! In a moment, we will all embark on a journey to a brand new neighborhood! In a moment, your life for keeping you waiting, your grace. Let us proceed with the fitting. <clears throat> of course, Anastasia, dear. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What will he say? <gasps> what will he do? <laughs> now, now, your grace. There must be some way we can resolve your predicament. Oh, no, 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 no! Nothing can help now. Your daughters were the last two maidens in the kingdom, but we'll never know which of them the slipper fits. Oh, but it was my slipper, your grace, so clearly it would have fit me. Oh, police! Just look at those clown feet. How dare you? Not to mention those ankles. Girls! Oh, I, I don't know whom to believe. Pick me, I'm taller! Pick me! I'm smarter! Oh, well, it is not for me to make such a uh, monumental decision. Ooh, I shall take them both to the palace, and the prince shall decide. Excellent, your grace. <laughs> Cinderella. The size of a mouse. The prince is never going to find me now. Sucks up. I have an idea. What? What? What is it? Fairy Godmother. She helped Cinderella before. Maybe she can come back and help her again. Uh, yeah! Come back again! That's a wonderful idea, Jacques. Fairy Godmother! Fairy, Fairy Godmother! Godmother. 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 Fairy Godmother! Wherever you are! Please! Oh, she'll never hear us from way down here. Up on the bed, Gus Gus. Uh, yeah, up on the bed. Fairy Godmother. Whoa. 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 Sorry, 
Cinderella. I guess we're just too small. Duh. What if Cinderella just ran to the castle? The castle's too far, Gus Gus. That'd take forever on my sleigh. It's no use. I'm through dreaming day after day, only to have my hopes destroyed time and again. I've already lost so much, I can't bear to lose anymore. Perhaps the prince was never supposed to find me because I'm just not worth being found. Please, Cinderella, don't talk like this. You're the bestest friend we've ever had. Yeah. Oh, shock. Gus, if it wasn't for you, there'd be no one left in this whole world who cared about me. There, there, child. Oh, very Godmother, is that you? Goodness gracious, what's happened to you, my dear? You're teeny tiny. It was a fairy godfather, Franco. Oh. oh, that mischievous little devil. All right, then. First things first. We must unspell whatever magic spell's been um, spelled. <clears throat> Bibbidi flibbidi. Yay! Um, Bobbidi flobbidi. Now, what is that spell again? Bibbidi bobbidi boo. <gasps> Quite right. Thank you. Bibbidi bobbidi boo! <laughs> 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 Dishmaid won the heart of the prince. Why not? You did, didn't you? Win the heart of the prince? I don't know. I thought so, but... Oh, Cinderella. There are plenty of beautiful maidens out there. But the prince fell in love with you. Not because of some silly dress or fancy footwear. But because of the beautiful person you are within. Bring what's inside out for the world. Find that it's worthwhile That what's inside out And a symphony Will play every time that you smile No fancy pearls, no diamond rings Take the place of our heart that's true Let what's inside out And I have no doubt That true love will come to you oh. Thank you. 
Sorry, Godmother. <laughs> Bye, Bye, Cinderella. Ah, now then, what am I going to do with you two? Run for it, Gus Gus! Oh! oh. 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 I don't understand. Where's the girl from the ball? I traverse the entire kingdom, sire. And I promise you, the sisters Tremaine are the very last two maidens. Oh. Well, then we must search every other kingdom. Sire, this is lunacy. The girl ran away. Uh -huh. Perhaps she doesn't wish to be found. You don't think she loves me? I'm saying you might consider the possibility. Oh, fine. Fine. I'll find her myself. <laughs> so, which one's the lucky girl, son? Who's going to be the mother to my grandchildren? Neither. What? Neither is the girl I fell in love with at the ball. But one of them will be your bride. No, she won't. Yes, she will. No, she won't. Yes, she will! Son, you fooled around long enough. The time has come for you to grow up, learn some responsibility, and do your duty as the sole prince of this kingdom. You gave your word that you would marry whomever the slipper fits. Now those girls are the last two maidens in the kingdom. You will choose one of them. End of story. It is my life to live, father. And live it, I shall! Wait! Where are you going? Uh, your Highness, what are you doing? Son, get down right now! Son, I order you to get down right now! You, you'll be killed! Oh, oh, oh my goodness! Footman, I love the Royal Guard! Right away, sire! What was all that shouting, Footman? Tell us everything! The king told the prince that he must choose a wife. But his choices were lousy at best So he leapt off the balcony Risking his life Then he mounted his steed And rode off with great speed Crying out like a man who's possessed I'm chasing a dream Yes, I'm chasing a dream I must follow my heart Come what may Sire, don't make a fuss Won't you please come with us? <laughs> I'm afraid, Duke, that's not meant to be Cause I'm chasing the dream And this dream's my destiny Oh, sire! <laughs> Excuse me, I'm looking for the prince Who is it? He took flight on horseback just moments ago I'll have to find that maiden from the ball <gasps> Then I'm not too late! has passed and the royal guard still hasn't found the prince. Where can he be? The poor king must be worried sick. What a daring young lad. He's completely insane. He's romantic. But not awfully bright. <laughs> With a choice of two maidens, just two. Don't complain. Well, if I were my son, I would choose either one. Any girl can become your mistress. But he's Myself if I didn't try my hardest to find her. Would you give up, Duke? Oh, you must have dreams that were left unfulfilled. Well, I don't know about that. Haven't you ever wished? 
star, a star Once or twice Or made plans to be more than you are That sounds nice Why did you let your dreams disappear? I don't know Let's go find them There's nothing to fear You're right We must go I'm chasing a dream Chasing a dream The Sally Fork into the fame anyone yet From my my princess It's worth each tribulation and I don't understand it, Duke. We've traveled near and far and still nothing. Well, it's as if she never existed. I too had hoped we would find her. I keep thinking about that night at the ball. There must have been something I could have said, something I could have done to stop her from running away. I'm sure her reasons for leaving so suddenly had nothing to do with you, sire. Oh, you were right all along, Duke. She didn't love me. All is not lost, sire. But look at what you've accomplished. Here I am, the very model of order and decorum. And yet, never have I felt as alive as I have on our journey. You've inspired me. And I know you are bound to do the same for your kingdom. My kingdom. I've been so busy thinking of myself. So busy chasing some fantasy that I forgot about the people who truly need me. Duke, I think it's time I became the prince my people deserve. Let's go home. The king of our kingdom, all maidens are required to attend another royal ball. At said ball, his royal highness, the prince, shall choose for his bride whomever he deems most fit to become his princess. You want me to turn Anastasia and Rosella into beautiful girls? Not simply beautiful, ravishing, breathtaking, and give them grace and wisdom beyond their years. Everything the prince could possibly want in a princess. I don't think I have that much magic. Hey! I'm sure I could whip up a little something. <sighs> We're going to be pretty, Mother. <laughs> no. <laughs> Helen of Troy was pretty girls. When I'm finished with you, you're gonna be spectacular! Oh. <laughs> 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 
Select his princess. Quite right, father. Oh. As the future king of our fair land, I know I must have a queen by my side on whom I can depend for wisdom, support, and, of course, love. <laughs> and so it is that I choose for my bride. Your Highness, please wait. Who in blazes is this? It's her! It's the maiden from the ball! It has to be! Nonsense! <laughs> that girl looked like a princess! I'm sorry, uh, do I know you? My name is Cinderella. I'm the girl you've been looking for! How <laughs> dare you parade in here and interrupt a prince's announcement! And with such a ludicrous story! But it's the truth! <laughs> no, it is! The prince in love with the scullery maid! <laughs> Absurd! <laughs> <laughs> Off with you, girl before you make an even greater fool of yourself. If that's possible. Guard! Remove her! Look at me. Not the dress, not the hair. Just look at me. Wait. I wish to hear what she has to say. Your Highness, do not be deceived by this common girl's lies. Lady Tremaine, I if I want your advice, I'll ask for it. Please. Who am I, a girl you hardly know? And though we met just once, not very long ago, 
for you for so long, and when I couldn't find you, I allowed myself to believe our love wasn't real. Oh, but you're here. You do love me. And now I know the dreams really do come true. No! Mother, do something! <laughs> oh, I will. Franco! <laughs> I know. I know. I'm magnificent. <laughs> Frank, what? There's been a horrible mistake. What? The prince has chosen Cinderella as his bride. <gasps> well, don't just stand there. Do your magic. I intend to. <laughs> it's never too late to cast a wicked spell. <laughs> Each fairy tale has a lesson. Learn it well. Just when you're thinking life could not get worse, you find yourself the objects of a curse. Ooh, what? No! Uh uh uh, deal. Who was it? If Cindy and the prince get hitched, you lose. Sorry. What is this? My laundry. Oh! Have it done by sunrise. So you can wash my dirty dishes and wax my floors Plus I got a lifetime of other chores Don't blame me ladies, the fault's all yours Ooh, I gotta run! I got a date with a wicked queen who was hunted down by seven angry dwarves Ha! It's never too late! Sing it girls! It's never too late! Not just me! It's never too late! It's never too, never too, never too late! Ah, no more. Sire, did you ever think you'd live to see the day your son would be married? <laughs> oh, but he's not married yet, which is why I'm taking no chances. <laughs> the wedding will commence immediately. Oh, oh, immediately. Oh, but Sire, there are vast preparations that need preparing, decorations that need decorating. And I couldn't possibly fashion an appropriate dress. Ah, but there's always a way. As someone once told me, you just have to believe. That's right, Your Majesty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 Fairy Godmother! It's 
so good to see you again. You know her? You didn't think I was just one person's fairy godmother, did you, my dear? This is all too bizarre. We need a wedding celebration and quick. Now, where'd I put that magic wand? The magic words. Uh, the magic words. Uh, oh, I should just write them down. What are those words again? I'm sorry. Could you speak up? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the fantastic cast of the Disney Magic!
Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, twice charmed. How about it, folks? Let's hear it one more time for this fantastic cast and a magnificent show. Well, what did you think, folks? Let them hear you.